Things are heating up here on Wisconsin Family at Fireside Hearth and Home, and we are loving it. Oh my gosh, I'm so cozy. It's great. <laughs> I love it. We're talking dance now with Joe Jean Retrum from Monona Academy of Dance and Dance Wisconsin. Welcome, Joe Jean. Well, thank you very much. I'm we've, very glad to be here this morning. Yeah, we've been seeing you on uh, a couple of our other shows, and it's good to have mm -hmm. you on Wisconsin Family for the first time. So welcome. Um, you have a location change that you'd like to talk about, I think. Yes, we're moving. Uh, we've been in the same location for over 35 years. Wow, okay. Oh. Our school is actually celebrating 70 years next year. Oh, my gosh. Years. Yep. My That's mom so started the studio in New Glarus. Okay. And then she traveled all over um, southwestern Wisconsin teaching. And then we've been really in Madison for well, about 40 years. And they sold the building we're in and I just got a new space so we'll be moving in the next couple of months. Well that's cool. exciting. Yeah. New space, new time, lots of fun things happening yeah. with you guys right now that I'm excited to share with folks at home. But I also want to talk about sort of the difference between, because your academy is in Monona, you've got mm -hmm. the Monona Academy of Dance, but there's also Dance Wisconsin. So share with us the difference between the two. Well, the school is a training ground for young people, and then Dance Wisconsin is our nonprofit company that gives oppor performance opportunities to our young people and trains them then to move right into professional companies. I've had lots of students that went right on from our um, foundation of, of teaching them dance mm -hmm. into the professional work like at Milwaukee Ballet, um, Ballet West, um, Houston Ballet, wow. American Ballet Theater, you know, yeah. all over the country. Those and are some big names too. Yeah, exactly. My point I was just about to make was to share with people at home, these are incredibly talented dancers. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, an academy that has bred some really fabulous, fabulous folks. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. congrats. I'm very proud of them. And so many of my young people who I trained, and now they're coming back and they're helping, you know, coach my That's dancers good. and be role models <clears throat> and mentors for our young That's people. Awesome. Yes. That's awesome it's to kind of give back. It's a good opportunity for them to give back. Yep. So, mm -hmm. um, you you guys do a great production of um, the Nutcracker every year, but mm -hmm. you're also doing this year Alice in Wonderland, yes. which, to be honest, I didn't even know was uh, adapted into a ballet, which I think is really exciting. Well, a lot of companies now are taking a lot of the fairy tales mm -hmm. uh, and bringing them to life for young people and I think it's a great way to introduce young children mm -hmm. to dance and music you know and a, a lot of it putting the ballet together is to find the music then to to speak out for the storyline mm -hmm. so our choreographer Chelsea Bradley really she she took a lot of Tchaikovsky music and and Egler music mm -hmm. and put it together and it really does it tells a fantastic story yeah. It's well, the story of Alice in Wonderland is so dynamic and creative and interesting. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine that the performance, there's a lot of avenues that you could mm -hmm. go and probably throughout the duration of the performance you're seeing lots of different styles of movement because mm -hmm. of the differences in the production itself. Mm -hmm. But where do you start? So you, do you start with the music? Is start, that how you yeah, begin you, to put it Well, you take the story mm -hmm. and then you put the music with it. And <clears> then <throat> the the dancers really then help with the choreography. You okay. know, it's like this mm -hmm. year, we did it last year, and I really wanted to do it again because mm -hmm. it was so successful. Plus, we coop, you know, all the money that you invested in the production. Mm -hmm. right. And, you know, there's some new people, so then there's now there's some new parts. Right. And then you have to make new costumes for them. Right. So mm -hmm. it's always... You know, always working on something, but we have beautiful costumes. Um, Ashley Dom has created just some gorgeous, gorgeous outfits. So many aspects of this. I can only imagine seeing the different, I like the dance, that the dancers uh, play a role in the choreography mm -hmm. because I'm sure there's so many interpretations of how something could play out through movement. Mm -hmm. And then you add in the costumes and the music and mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just excited about it. And I just it. think it's so cool that, you know, this isn't necessarily a ballet that was written this, you're taking music that has been around for a while mm -hmm. with a, and putting it together with a story mm -hmm. that's been around for a while, and that's, mm -hmm. just, that's just a really cool concept. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you mentioned costumes, and Jessa mentioned costumes. Tell us about the costumes. Well, it's really um, funny because my <coughs> mother used to do all the costumes, mm -hmm. you know, and she traveled. We'd go to New York and Chicago and pick out beautiful fabric, and she just had, you know, gorgeous costumes, and she passed away four years ago now, and so you know, it's like, oh no, what do we do? And, you know, one of my mom's friends has been helping us. But one of my teachers one day goes, I can do that. 
And I said, okay. And she started making the costumes and she did a beautiful job. And then she'd get stuck and she'd go, she'd look up and she'd go, okay, Jean, now what do I do? <laughs> and it was really cute. And she's just done a fabulous job. They're so pretty and, and what a you big know, job so well. that is. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah. is. Yeah. Really quick, we got to go to commercial break, but what is National Dance Week? National Dance Week is a time to celebrate dance, and it used to be the end of April, and now it's the end of February. So people all over the world, you know, come together and educate young people about what dance is about. And we're in the public schools right now, even teaching in the gym program. So you know, we're really introducing lots of young people to dance. Oh, what a, what a fabulous thing. Keep it going because it's yeah. such a fabulous production yeah. that you're putting on. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing with us. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Well, this is Joe Jean Retrum from Monona Academy of Dance and Dance Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And stick around. There is more Wisconsin family here at Fireside Hearth and Home right after the break. So stick around.